So over here, you can see that I have the particle continuously falling down uh, because my particle mode is set to snow. So they are falling down as if snow is falling down. I can change the particle mode to point and shoot. And what happens is that this is the particle emission point. So if I were to go to shape, this is the emission point right here. I can change around so to change the location of emission as well. So let me just go back to record. And if I were to click and hold now, you can see that uh, the particle actually comes from that section right here. Click and hold, it comes from that section. Click it just like this, click it for a while. And then you can see that only for the amount of uh, the click that I do, the particle falls down. I can go over here and click and hold and you can see that the particle follows my mouse. I'm just going to click and drag it around and I can see that the particle follows out the uh, direction of where I click and hold my mouse at. So I can uh, click on the left side and click on the right side, click over here and that is how it works. So that is what point and shoot mode is. So you point and shoot and the particle gets emitted in that particular section. If I were to go over here and click on Canon, what happens is that the particle does not change direction according to my mouse. So if I were to click and hold, it just emits into the place the direction it originally uh, is in. So it takes this direction as the reference point. So if I were to click and drag this out, click, uh, click and hold, and you can see that that is how it actually affects. Then if I, if I were to go over here and go to track mouse, now what happens is that the emission point uh, stays from uh, in where I uh, point my mouse. So if I were to click and hold it right here, you can see that that becomes the emission point. Click and drag it right here, that becomes the emission point and so forth. So that is how it works like in track mouse mode, just like that. So you can see that if I were to click and drag it, that is how it works. If I were to go over here onto Canon, then this is how it works. If I were to go to point and shoot, it follows my mouse and so forth. And those are the different particle modes that you can work with inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.